there's quite a few. Big, fat mullet here. I've seen, I would estimate fish, I've seen one one pound fish, but other than that, I've hardly seen any fish less than two and three quarter pound. I've seen more three pound fish, four pound fish than that. And I've seen one fish that's in excess of six pounds. Huge, big, shark-like mullet. <laughs> right, after the last time I came in here, you will have seen that I had two lot of line. So I've upped my line strength now to five pound on my Cadence CS6, which I then matched to my Cadence CR10, 16 foot match, power rating two. They do a power rating above this, which is a three, but you know, as strong as mullet are, they aren't barbel. There's lots of fish around as well. Good sized fish. Um, you know, a five pound, six pound mullet is gonna go like nothing else, but it's not a 12 pound barbel, so. This is ideal, it's not an out and out match rod, it's got a bit of power in there for a bonus fish, which is exactly what I want. Why 16 foot? Well, the bank's quite far down, it gives me more control over my line, and I get a crisper, cleaner strike, and I can, as I said, manage my line better. So onto that, I've got a size eight, Camazon B931, then a BB shot, which is a little bit crude, but I need to get the bread down there. Um, about three to four inches up, I'd say three, from the hook. Then if we're moving on up, you see I've got a bulk shot of 4BB there. Actually, it's three and a half BB, because one of those is number four. And then right here, I've got um, a Dave Harrow number one heavy base stick float. I like these heavy bases. I, I put this on, uh, because generally you're here, and then the wind whips up and uh, buggers you up. There is a bit of flow. Uh, you know, I'm using a big bait, so there's no problem there. So I'm just gonna, with my hands, so I haven't put the oil in yet, mulch this up. You've got to get enough water in it that it's soaked through it, and you can do this. You're making a porridge, effectively. You don't want too big a bit. Let you fill them up. I'm not putting all of this in. And you know what? You want to make a cloud. And when I add the oil, it will carry it down to the bottom. Some of that will get stuck in the bottom and some of the bread will. And then it will get the mullet on the feed. And when you're setting your drag, it's better to be too loose than too tight. So just turn your spool a bit, just to make sure it's not sticking or anything. And pull until it easily comes off. You can adjust it during the fight. You'll usually find it ain't enough. That seems quite good to me. When you strike, I normally cup my spool or put my finger on the spool to strike. That way it stops it spinning. Having sound problems here again. Sorry about that. I'll have to sort out what's going on here. I think the uh, lead's pulling out when I'm moving about. So I've chosen to go out to Bid River now because I'm not picking up any bites in closer where I anticipated. That's mullet for you. They do your head in all the time. I've been catching them in, hooking them at least in close and um, losing some as you've seen in the previous video. So I'm just trotting it down the middle of the river thinking maybe they're sat out there away from me. Maybe they're aware of me. I have seen a good fish or two come up from the bottom. I'm just mending my line there. And you see me hook a fish now. Here we go. It's a good fish. It's a big fish. I can tell straight away I've seen it. It's in excess of four or five pounds, if not more. It's a long way out and a long way down. Fighting hard. And there you go. The hook's come out again. So this is perplexing me. I don't know why I'm losing these fish. I have ideas and I'll discuss them. Sound should come back shortly. Right, either I am on the worst run of my life, as I've just lost another mullet, hopefully the camera is on that. I estimate it was five pound plus fish. I got it up, it shook its head. I had a barbed hook on because I've lost too many of them shaking their head. So I got over that, it ran hard. I managed to stop it. it I got it just swimming along and it's coming towards me and then it decides it's gonna go away from me on a steady run. And I'm thinking, this is good, just keep a cool head and you'll get this fish in. Off. Just when I wasn't expecting it to be off. I had a tight line, I can't see what else I did wrong. Anything I've done wrong. The only thing I can think is the bigger fish, I need a bigger hook. So instead of a size eight, I'm gonna go up to a six and I'm gonna use a micro barbed hook this time because I don't really wanna be using barbs. These fish are so big and they're moving so much that uh, 
I thought that might be the way to go because I don't want to keep losing these fish. I want to hook them and land them. So I'll try a different style hook in a micro bar. I'll show you the hook I'm going to put on in a minute. Oh, we're taking an inch off the depth and we're casting out mid river again. Oh, perfect. And we should be an inch off the bottom there. Float. Don't know whether you will see much at all. Or even I was filming when I had that bite. I'm not sure. I think I was. A bit of line because I'm moving the line and it's waggling the float, so I don't want that. Float sat higher in the water now. I'm moving very quickly though. Oh, yeah, got one. Come on. Stay on. Tight line on him. Coming towards me, this one. Come on, stay on. Not a massive fish, this one at all, but it's a fish. It's only little. But I don't care at this point. I just want a fish to stay on. Yeah, he's a little one. I'll probably net him quite quickly. He'll, the minute he sees a net, he'll decide to do one. You see him down there. Just a little guy. If I can get my net to go out. Oh, I'm all over the shop, aren't I? Come on, H. Let's get him. No. I need my net longer. That's where they want to be, isn't it? Mid, -ri Mid River. Come on. In you come. That is a scrapper. He's solid, but oh, God. Oh, if I'd had my net right, I would have had him in by now. My arm is hanging off. Come on. Yes, I got him. Oh, I fought that one hard. All right, I just need a break. So a little one. It's a fish though, it stayed on. Fish on the map. There, he's only a little beastie. A couple of pounds. Where's the hook? Hook's come out already, I think. Thick lip, you can see the bumps on his lip and his top lip is thick. Oh, he's feisty, this one. Didn't want to do a lot when he was down there. There you go. Might have a couple of phones. Lovely, fat, solid fish. He'll be a big fish one day. Maybe for now, set away. Let's release him. Whew, let's let him recuperate a bit there now. It's been a hot day, isn't it? And the mullet god smiled on me. Whew, trying to get a five pounder out is going to be someone else. I'll have to, uh, I don't think I can climb down, that's the trouble. Right, let's see if we can flip the net around and get him to go. There he is. I don't you can see him down there. He's fine. He's. Just moving around a bit there now. Yeah, he's getting his breath back. He's all right, he's gone. Right, I've moved area where there's a little slower water here. If you can see out in front of me, it's quite fast out there, but there's a little bit of a shallower back of here. I've baited up, I'm just gonna quickly do the depth. I'm not gonna fish very far out. Nice bit of color in the water, so. That's no problem. It's the right sort of colour. Oh, there's the seals. You see that going around out there? That's probably the seal after that salmon that just jumped. So until they sod off, I've probably not got much chance. Uh, I do your head in. I know they're a nice thing to see and all of that, but they're no good if you're an angler. If you're a salmon angler, I'd be fuming in this river. Look, he's coming in here now, so I'm going to bring the bait in, because uh, what's the point? There he is. It's only a little guy. That's scared everything for miles away, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about the loss of sound here. Technical difficulties. As you can see, I'm into one. And um, he's fighting very hard, this fish. Uh, we've got the depth dead right. We're doing everything we should correctly, and uh, a little bit of throw right to left which I always like which usually results in some sort of bite so uh, it's fighting really hard this fish as you can see 
but we eventually get it in the net. Excellent. So, let's have a look at this beautiful creature. He is only a couple of pounds, but he's fat, solid, same size as what we had earlier, something similar. Good bite, good hell of a fight. You can see he's a very fat fish, and you see the white the underside of him. Let's put him back here then. A nice release shot. what we're doing this he's fought very hard so let's get him the right way up yeah, some air going over his gills yeah he kicked then I wouldn't say he's ready yet huh? let's see if he'll swim out himself there he goes look swimming out of the net so I'm just doing the same thing again it's all about depth it's all about the speed of the current picking up a little bit of flow but not too much flow like it's trotting through beautifully now so if we hadn't just had that fish I'd be quite confident of a bite I'm mending my line trying to keep in touch with my float as it comes towards me or passes me by and that depth is critical an inch too deep oh yeah got another now look see what I mean it's in a big one either. There's obviously a show of smaller ones there. But yeah, all of a sudden we're in. I put more ground bait out and they're still here. That one was a crash, classic bite, that was. Yeah, it's not a big fish, but. Smallest one of the day, actually. Let's try and net him over here. Now you see that net, and they don't want to know. Let's see. Oh, oh he's giving it out. I'm sure you can see this. I haven't got a second of a different angle this time. They don't have fight for their size though. I mean, this is probably a pound and a half, his fish. He's all over the place, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> nearly had him in the net. Nearly swam straight into it. I'm gonna have to bully him a bit. No, I can't, I can't. It's too lively, I don't like playing them too hard. Uh, too little, oh yeah, we got him now. We got them. Oh, we will if we get the net down. Oh, for God's sake, Age. What are you doing? Let's bring him in now. Get his head up. See if we get the heads up. Oh, God. Oh. Biggest foul up ever. There we go. Oh, he's bigger than I thought as well. They're so stocky. They look tiny in the water. Oh, I bullied this one in. Uh, beautifully hooked with the scissors, this one. There was no way he was coming off. I had seen that when I was fighting him. So, let's have another little look. Oh, small one. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half. Be surprised, they're quite fat fish. See a little bit of gold in there, that's not a golden grey though. Oh, I don't think it is, I'm not brilliant at identifying them, I must admit. I didn't rest, he must be quite exhausted after that fight. I did yoink him in a bit because I want to get back out there again. We'll do the same as we did with the other one. Let's swim him along. Get some water across his gills. And then we'll see if he will swim himself out when he's ready. You can see him down there just 
get out in a bit. He's happy enough there at the minute. I'm just swimming along. Just nurse them gently. It's a very hot day and he's fought very hard this fish. I'm just gonna swim him along a bit more. See where he's at. Just getting some water over his gills. Ready to release him. There he goes. Down he goes. Sorted. So it's just that nice steady flow again. I was just sort of saying that if we hadn't had one and spooked that I'd be expecting a bite. I struggle with a big one though, my arm's killing me. That was a little show of that size there. The bigger hook seems to be doing the trick since I put it on anyway. I've hooked some plenty of fish. I've got no more ground bait to put in now, so we can be doing that. And we're getting over nine o'clock now, so. Oh, what's that? It's just dragging the ball on it. Oh, no, it could have been a bite. Somebody just nicked my bait. That was a little tap just before I lifted it. in stuff arm wrenching come on then one nice size one so yet again depth critical get it exactly right get that oh I had one then didn't I missed it though a good bite that I don't know where I did miss that struck well let's carry on then I am absolutely loving my mullet fishing. Oh, it's a shoal of them here, that's what we've got. They've got their heads down on the, the bait. And we're doing well to hook them. They don't appear to be big fish, do they? Little fish are tricky to hook, they've got smaller mouths. And of course I've got a big hook as well, haven't I? Come on. Let's having another. They're very sharp, quick bites, aren't they? This is what small fish do to you. Oh, like that. I missed it, he's probably nicked me bread. Flow's picking up again now. That's just pull it under with the tide. Bones are all the water, my right. My bread's gone, I reckon. Should we have a look? Yeah, look at see how easily they can nick your bread. It's amazing. That little dink with typical small fish bites. Just interested to see if they are but like, you can get days like this where you get all of a sudden you'll hit one you think you're, you're pissing around with small fish and it's a big fish big old clever wary fish there hold the float to the town there and i'll probably get a bite pretty much straight away i would imagine something's going on already Wind's taking me flow everywhere. It's going through the swim nice as a chance of a gun, but I don't think it's gonna happen today. Oh, there you go, see? The dink already, the float's higher in the water, which probably means whatever it is is still pissing around with it. See the the float's going everywhere. It's a little flesh. He's not strong enough to really pull the float right under. He's just nibbling, nibbling, nibbling. 
little bass or finkling but look, look, it's still doing it can you see see what's going on that's not big fish doing that he's actually up in the water <laughs> i'm not gonna hook it no matter what i do all right this is definitely the last cast because a big mullet wouldn't do that i don't believe anyway i mean if that was a big mullet i would have hooked him then there's, there's no doubt in my mind i would have hooked a fish there if that was a big mullet i was not say you won't you know eventually get a proper bite strike and it, just one quick dink um quite possibly is a proper sized fish but i think there's loads of small bass or fingling mullet here now and uh that's obviously what's going on and i haven't had anything oh there look doing it again is that the same spot see it's up in the water i've got this one and it is a little mullet interesting isn't it i waited and waited and waited he is little but this is why we're struggling because he's getting it in their mouths i mean he he pulled it under and away he went yeah see i mean they're beautiful little things don't get me wrong but you really got to let them get it in the mouth before you strike. We'll have a look at him now. We'll get him in in a minute. <clears throat> oh, that's why they're not spooking, because they're not wary enough yet. They're young, aren't they? I don't want to tie her in too much, so I might fire her in, in the net. The trouble is they're so full of energy. Let's get the net out there. We literally waited for that to go completely under, didn't we? Right, we got the long rod. He's full of energy, this fish. And he jumped in the net, I think. Have we gone him? No, we missed him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he jumped in the net. They are so, so lively. You can't even bully the buggers in the net when you want it. Ah! I want kibble. Right, here he comes in the net, swamming it in the end. So we've got a nice little mullet here. I've had trouble with sound again. Yeah, it's only a pound, something like that. You can see how small it is, but a beautiful little thing all the same. Let's get that hook out of the way. They're talking about the hook. The hook, I put on a larger hook in the hope of landing bigger mullet further upriver. So that was probably not aiding me with hooking some of these mullet. But in the end, we waited long enough and we got one. So uh, it's all good, isn't it? Let's let it go now. Just make sure you don't swim them backwards because that can drown them or so I've been told, so I don't do it anyway. Lovely little fish. Uh, well, right then. Um, yeah, lost a big fish to start off with. Um, but enjoyable session in the end. I had three small, was it three? I think four small fish overall. I could carry on catching those small fish, but you know, it's, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. They're, they're good fun. If you're new, then it's good game experience. But it was interesting to see those bites. They were buh, 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 the float going all doing all of this. And it wasn't until it went under solidly that you had to strike because they're just nibbling at it, these little fish. Sometimes you can be getting hundreds of bites and that's why, because it's lots of little fish in front, in front of you, excuse me. So if you want to catch them, scale down, or use smaller baits or uh, wait for them to hang themselves in the float to go right under and then strike. So I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll get a good big one next time. Thank you.